Hello guys, here are five reasons why you should consider getting a Lexus IS300 Sport Cross Wagon. So the first reason why you probably want to get a Sport Cross Wagon is because it has the naturally aspirated 2JZ GE engine, which is similar to, to what the Supra engine has. So the, this engine is capable of very decent horsepower numbers. If you turbo it, you can easily get to four to 500 horsepower, especially with the CX Racing Turbo Kit. The, the CX Racing Turbo Kit would cost you 2,300, and it would, it would, and then if you get that installed, you could cost you around 3,000 with labor and all that, 3,500, and you would be pushing around 400 horsepower. And the automatic transmission these cars come with, they can easily handle the the power that you would want. So now let me get into this. So the Sport Cross comes with this five-speed automatic. It has a manual mode, so you can shift gears. And that, I mean, it's pretty similar to a manual transmission, except the front of the clutch is not there. And the shifts are not, you know, instant. It's an old car. You're not going to have instant shifts. But that is something that they, it's better than nothing. It's better than just to have the drive mode. But now you have a manual mode. So I do like that. This car does come with a manual mode. Um, and then with the, these transmissions can handle 500 horsepower without any stress on the on the transmission. The W58 manuals these cars come with, only the sedan has it. They can't really handle more than 300 horsepower. So turboing it wouldn't be really a good idea unless you want to ruin the transmission. <laughs> okay, so the second reason why you would want to get a Sport Cross is because they're rare. They only made 3,078 of these Sport Crosses and you really won't see these every single day unless you own one and you look at yours every single day or something like that. So. These cars, they only made 3,078 from 2002 to 2005. Very few of them came with a limited slip differential. Luckily, mine has a limited slip differential. And that's that's a nice thing to have in these Sport Cross wagons that you would pr probably want to have. And so like these cars are very rare and the prices are all over the place. Some people are asking 6,000, some people are asking 20,000. I've seen listings you know, all around prices like everywhere for me i paid 5700 for this and total this car's costed me 82 88200 dollars so far um i plan I, the price is probably going to go up even more once i turbo it and do a manual swap but for now i mean i'm fine with the way the car is right now but the third reason why you would want to do something like that i apologize for all the background noise but the third reason why you would want this car is because i mean it's it, it's a wagon you know like you really this is the only rear wheel drive wagon that they made that is japanese in america this is the only rear wheel drive wagon that is japanese in america there is no other manufacturer that made a wagon that's rear wheel drive in japanese honda they made our cord wagon and they made the acura tsx wagon they're both front wheel drive and they do, and they don't have an inline six. They only have an inline four option, not even a V6 option. I believe the Accord wagon did come with the V6, but I might be wrong. And they also made a Toyota Camry wagon and a Corolla wagon. And they, I, I believe the Camry came with the V6 and an inline four. The Corolla came with the inline four. And that's the thing with these cars that not all of them have. So like, this is the only rear wheel drive wagon. I'm gonna sit inside because of all the background noise. But that, that's one of the few reasons you know these are one of the few cars and i mean you're not really going to find a real wheel drive japanese wagon this is the only one they made in america that is that was like uh produced in america not like something you can import from japan this is the only one they made in america the fourth reason i want to get into with this car is because you know it's a reliable wagon you can just daily drive this thing not have any issues i mean you know you won't really see these many any like often you know like i said these are very hard to find, but if you do find them, you know, hopefully you can get it for relatively low instead of having to pay a premium. Um, and mileage doesn't really matter. I've seen these go 300,000 miles. I know someone that has a Sport Cross with 225,000 miles. These cars, you know, they can go for a lot. Mine has 180,000 miles, and I mean, the interior is in decent shape. It's not, you know, the seats aren't torn. My seat isn't torn. Like, the seats are in good condition. And if you take care of it, you know, you can easily hit three to 400,000 miles. And my car looks decently new. But the issue is these cars did have is a sticky dash and all the sport crosses. So that is something you want to keep in mind. Mine has a sticky dash. So that's something. The fifth reason I want to get into with this car 
is because they, these cars, um, they're they're pretty easy to modify. I mean, there there is a good aftermarket for these cars. Like, you can easily get a good front bumper. You can get some decent wheels. You can lower the car. There's suspension components. There's components for the engine, transmission. You know, you can get a cold air intake and an exhaust. And the car will sound nice. Or if you want to do a turbo, like I said, you can do a turbo. There's a lot of things you can do with this car. And, I mean, it's a great overall car. It's practical. Like, I'm going to go over in the back and show you. Like, it's pretty practical. You can... And seats fold down i mean there's a lot of room you can put your gear in here the best part i like about this car is going to open the rear seats and look at that you can fold this seat and you can put stuff down here other thing you can do with this car is you can fold down all these seats um i haven't really seen a video on someone doing this so i might be the first one but you can fold down all these seats and i'm going to show you how it looks so you can have like a ski go through there you can even put a bed in this car go camping you know you can have you can install a roof rack there's a RAV4 roof rack kit that you can get for about 250 it takes about half an hour to an hour you can install it yourself and you can have like a bike mount even a even a tent honestly you can do that and this is the best part like you can just fold down all the seats and you know even there you can put some food there and eat you know while you're while you're parked just fold the seat back up and fold that seat down. It's like a table. So that's like one of the like coolest things that this car actually has is a practicality, even though it is a sports car or a sports wagon. But that's one of the best things that I like about this car is the folding seats. That's pretty cool in my opinion. But yeah, well, this ends up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, you know, five reasons why you should consider buying a Lexus ISN or Sport Cross, but here's a bonus. So, um, I might not be right about this, but I do believe these cars will go up in value, especially the low mileage ones. Reason why I think that, because this is the only, you know, like I said, the only rear wheel drive Japanese wagon produced in America. It's a sports wagon. It's reliable. It has the 2JZ GE engine. And I believe, you know, low mileage examples can go for a lot of money. I mean, there's already a couple for 20 grand with 40,000 miles. I, I seen one for 13,000 and 50,000 miles, you know, I, I do believe these cars do have potential of going up in value over time, like five, six years from now, it could be worth something like mine could be worth around 10, 11 grand. And with low mileage examples could go up even $20,000, $25,000, 30, you know, so forth. And I'm, I'm already seeing IS turner sedans going up in value. So I, I could see these going up in value too. But that could just be because of the pandemic. Cars are going up, all cars are going up in value, but these are very rare. But that ends up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment what I should do next with this car. See you guys in the next video.